I decided to look and see if subliminals were being used by political campaigns in the 2010 election. I took a quick look at several high-profile campaigns. In several campaigns, I did not find any subliminals, but most of these were smaller campaigns. I found some that used subliminals, but one in particular was very strange. Before I go on, I have several of the images available full size at my website so you can inspect them yourselves. These are high quality and nearly invisible subliminals. I do not like to make videos with subliminals like this because they're hard to perceive. You really need to know how subliminal embedding or airbrushing works. But I feel it's my duty to let people know what's there. Now I'm going to focus on the sky. I don't even want to know what's embedded in the mountains, and I like to rule out all chance of coincidence. Don't see too much in the sky, do you? Other than Reed appearing like a savior in the sky. My wife disagrees and says that Reed's actually scorching the earth in this. So although with the naked eye I can see some anomalies in the colors, I'm going to have to turn up the contrast invert colors to show the subliminals. There's a sex airbrushed in the darker shades. Another sex. This is a horned skull. My wife says my trace did not do it justice, and that it's much more frightening than my trace shows. It also has a 3D effect, and appears to be looking at you when you look from different angles. Some type of horse looking face or skull. A ghoul with easy to see eyes and nose. Sex in the Rays and a skull peeking over the landscape. This graphic was by far the worst. I find it particularly bothersome because the subliminals are nearly invisible in the graphic's original form. Whatever agency that did Reed's ad campaign seems to think that sex and death embeds work, and they work even when they're consciously invisible. Now for the not so invisible. In this ridiculous graphic from New York Senator Chuck Schumer, somebody appears to be playing the skin flute. Also, my wife says the ear has been airbrushed to appear like part of the female anatomy if it were spread like the copy suggests. They also managed to airbrush a face or skull in the small bit of hair. Since both parties, especially the establishments, are corrupt, I'll show some subliminals from Meg Wetman who is currently breaking campaign spending records. Two typical sexes. 
I'm sure there are plenty more, but this background does not make a very good example. There is also a heart when viewed at a distance. Martin O'Malley's campaign for re-election as Maryland's governor uses photo backgrounds which can make finding airbrush words easy. The sex is airbrushed in a lighter shade. This one you have to tilt your head at the angle of the word to see it correctly. The eyes and pupils on this skull embedded into O'Malley's chin are easy to lock onto. I find this picture hilarious. For each of the issues, they have a different background. Most of the pictures have smiling, happy people. But what's going on here on the healthcare page? Look at the expressions on each person's face. Put words or thoughts to those expressions. I think this picture is saying something. Let me illustrate. The light-skinned black man at the podium looks slightly similar to Obama. He looks slightly confused. It looks like he just said something dumb. The guy on the left has his hands covering his crotch. The expression on his face is saying, Did that guy just say he was going to cut off my testicles? The gray-haired man is looking off with an expression that says to me he's in disbelief. The other people in the picture are scowling, biting lips, looking down, or expressionless. O'Malley himself is looking at the speaker with a bit of an angry scowl. He's also standing back, distancing himself from healthcare. There really is no other reason to use this photo, and they're not stupid enough to put up a campaign picture that has people with these expressions in them. He's clearly trying to distance himself from Obama's health care plan. That's about it. Just remember, the real criminals are not lurking in the alleys. They're in your state houses and D.C.